here we are, right down by the river that's near my house. Um, to give you a perspective, maybe this river is maybe, maybe in a fifth of a mile from my house. It's not that far. It's literally a walk down across the street over the bridge. And then there's the river. Now this usually runs pretty low, but with all the rain we've gotten lately, it's actually up really, really high. See that little aisle of trees right there? Usually the river's on the other side of it. Now, I can't get any closer than this to really show anything, but last summer I came up here, and you can hear the motorcycle, and I used to play Pokemon Go. Now there's a gym and a Pokestop and a Pokestop. So it's kind of nice to walk around this little area while you're playing and, and catch Pokemon. It's, and actually quite a few Pokemon show up here, but seeing as I don't play anymore, it doesn't really matter. But when I was playing, I wanted to see if I could actually cross this river. And I walked across the river, got to the middle, and decided I didn't want my phone to get wet. So I stuck my phone in my shoes and attempted to throw my phone and my shoes to the other side. Um, the phone rolled over and it rolled back into the river and um, I realized I was about to lose my phone so I ran as fast as I could across. At no point did the river water ever go up past my hips. So normally this river does not run very deep so that just gives you a perspective on just how much water is in this river. It is a lot. And when this river decides to overflow its banks, it will flood my little village and not be a pleasant experience. We actually had a flood, but not from this river. We had a flood from one of its tributaries that runs through the center of town into this river. What happens is the, the tributary runs to a certain point and it goes under the road and maybe for half, a, not even half a mile, but hundreds of feet runs under the under the town and then empties out into this river but if people upstream aren't careful and they throw a lot of debris into it it clogs up that narrow passageway and causes the river to flood into town so unfortunately our local high school got flooded and a whole bunch of places got flooded because of that so they're trying to figure out how to fix that but as you can see this is the kind of stuff that has me thinking about survival and what am I going to do in a situation where I do run into a flood? And none of this has anything to do with global warming. A lot of this has to do with the fact that um, it is a beautiful little village that I live in. And a lot of people from New York City have discovered it. And they are retiring here and building beautiful homes up on the sides of the mountain. Um, that alone is going to cause a dramatic shift in how the water flows. Um, and that might have something to do with the fact that it, that I don't recall that little river ever overflowing before. But now that we've got so many people from New York City moving here and, and living here and building these gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful homes up in the in the hills, that yeah, it's it's starting to happen more often. So it is what it is. We deal with it as best we can. Now this is what it normally looks like. And you can see where the running water etched a little bit into the side there. See right along there? It's pretty cool. Last summer, I came down here and I actually, the water was so low, I walked across the river. I could probably do it this year. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. I could probably walk across that. I'm not tripping on the rocks. Yeah, that's doable. Considering how it was running before. I don't remember that little island being in there. That's... No, it always was in there. This is actually a little bit deeper than it runs. It's normally on the other side of that where the water runs. So once you get on the other side, so you can go all the way up there. And then from there you walk across and the library is right on the other side. That's pretty cool. So, yep, last year I did walk across it. Uh, I don't think I'll be brave enough to try it this year. 
although it looks deep enough that if you go fishing, you might get some real good fish out of it.